Polish Jews who changed the world. Samuel Goldwyn, born Shmuel Gelbfish in Warsaw on August the 17th, 1879, was the eldest of six children in a poor family of Abraham and Hannah Gelbfish. He grew up in a very religious household, as his father was devoted to the study of the Talmud. After his father's death, Shmuel left Warsaw and set out on a journey that would initiate his American dream, a journey both metaphorical and literal. He traveled to Germany on foot, a prelude to his much longer journey to America. His story is filled with both honorable and less honorable episodes. Before reaching the United States, he stayed in England and Canada. During his time in Albion, he begged and got his hands on other people's property, but that did not deprive him of his faith in the American dream. That is also where he changed his last name to Goldfish. He finally reached America and was granted citizenship in 1902. He began a career as a glove salesman using his natural aptitude for business. He invested his earnings in the budding film industry. Together with his brother-in-law and business partner, he produced a movie titled The Squaw Man. It was the first feature film in the history of Hollywood. In 1918, when his filmmaking enterprise proved a success, he changed his name to Goldwyn, which became the name of his film studio funded in 1916. In 1924, the enterprise was merged with Marcus Louvs and Louis Mayer's companies, both Central European Jews like Schmuel. This gave birth to the world-famous Metro-Goldwyn-Mayer Company, or MGM, known for its Roaring Lion trademark. Thanks to his determination, Schmuel Gelbfisch produced around 140 movies, of which 48 earned Oscars. The history of Shmuel Gelbfish from Warsaw, known to the world as Samuel Goldwyn, is one of the most spectacular ranks to riches American dream stories there are. A story that the dream factory itself could not have come up with. <laughs>